Hello, everyone, and welcome to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I am your host, Chelsea Lynn. And I'm your host, Paige Jen. And welcome back to another um, episode, Rock Fuckers. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Um, so what's, what's been going on? Me and uh, you just got back from Joshua Tree yesterday. Yep. Mm-hmm. We went on a gal's trip to Joshua Tree. and Little we, fun little, little... We took pictures and just mm-hmm. went and ate. Mm-hmm. And can I address the elephant in the room? <laughs> My Instagram page got taken away again. Oh, for no reason. For no reason. What? The day we got the Joshua Tree. So like what? Two, three days ago. Um, yeah, <sighs> I logged in <clears throat> to, uh, you know, check my Instagram for the 800th time that day. Cause that's what I do, you know? And sure enough, it said, uh, page not available user not found and i said wow again and you've been trying to be tame about it oh i have been so good i have i have not had anything taken down i have i mean i have like if i want to post something that i think hmm there might be a little chance this could be taken down i don't post it you know i've been what's that sorry (laughs) I'm trying, to, I'm trying to turn my watch off, God. and it did something. I'm talking about a very important subject. My Instagram page. Oh, wait. Will you turn on my headset just a little a little bit, the volume? Am I being too loud for you, honey? It's so a little screaming. too loud for me. How's that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's great. Um, Thank you. So... I am, we're working on getting it back. I have a man, uh, management and they're working on getting it back and dude, I'm so sick of this. I have a backup page. I've been posting to there a lot. Actually, I've, I've actually have really a lot of fun on that page. Um, it's only Tammy. So go follow that for the meantime until I can get my regular page back. And it's, I don't understand because if you have to set your age to 17, 18, isn't that a thing? Like you have to sign in the well, nobody reads dude, it. Dude, I don't. Dude, I don't know what Instagram's problem is. Do they want everybody to be the exact same person? I think so. <laughs> it's unreal. It's unreal. It's I, I don't know. It's whatever. I'm hoping to get it back, but if not, it's whatever. It's not the end of the world. Who cares? Well, kind of it is because it's I like know. you spent. It's not just like your Instagram getting deleted. It's our career, and. We spend so much time building it up, and then for it to just be gone yeah. at the snap of a finger, like, it's not okay. Yeah, I know. What was that? What the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah, what are y'all doing over there? <laughs> All these yeah, that was weird. What the fuck Brett was that? Just I just fly. moved the mic a millimeter, <laughs> and it made... Wow, dude. I thought there was, like, a mouse in there. Dude. <laughs> oh. They're out of control over there. Oh, my God. We're going to have to cut the mic. We're about to cut the mic <laughs> completely. Um, no. Hey, guys, I will be announcing um, new tour dates very soon. We are going over um, uh, dates this week, and we're going to finalize some stuff. And once everything's finalized, I should be able to announce the new tour dates within the next month. So be on the lookout for that. And that's the other thing. You have so many things you have to promote. Yeah. And... You can't. Because I know. <sighs> I know. It's fine. It's fine. Instagram. Do, do better. better. Do better. <laughs> um, we start filming season two of Tammy Banks uh, this week. Oh. So that's exciting. Everyone in this room. Paige, Brett, Maggie. Tanya here. Ta- hey, honey's Tanya here. Hey, honey's Candy here. Hey, honey's. Candy Kane here. Candy Kane. Candy Kane. Um, so we start that. filming that. We we post uh, weekly episodes of that on our OnlyFans. Um, so go check that out. ChelseaLynn.com. We'll be uh, getting some new stuff up there soon. What else, honeys? Um, we went thrift store shopping this weekend, and we uh, I got a whip. Oh yeah, Chelsea got a whip, so she's going to be using that in the Only Tammy. An eight foot leather whip. Yeah, I'm excited. Like in the old westerns, you know, like, whoop That's what I got. Yeah. She came up. She's like, I'm going to go ask the lady if I can go try out this whip in the parking lot. Well, I couldn't do it in the store, and I was not about to buy it without if trying it. didn't it. snap. So yeah. I was like, hey, can I take this to the parking lot? She started laughing. She's like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, 
like, all right. And then I went to go pay for it. She's like, I saw you out there whipping it. She's like, you were doing good. And I was like, thanks. Oh, yeah. and then dead. I, <laughs> yeah. And then I was um, sucking on the tits of the mannequin. There was a mannequin with tits. And I said, hey, Paige, go suck on those tits. I actually have it on a vlog. I, it's vlog footage for OnlyFans. So that'll be up soon. Yeah. We're trying to edit all the vlogs. Yeah. <sighs> I know. We'll get to it. It's so hard. I know. Next week, we'll we'll have some new vlogs up. I'll have a new vlog up for OnlyFans and YouTube, so be on the lookout for that. I am trying to do better. I just literally don't think anything's funny, but... It is, <sighs> and people will love it. I know. People will love I it. Know. Maggie puts up the worst vlogs of all time, and people still love it. Yeah, I really do. I'm not <laughs> good at it, but they were, like, begging, so I'm like, okay. She doesn't know how to edit. She uh-uh. she, she puts in five-minute-long... Uh, sk- uh, just Clip, one video. Clips of us not doing anything. Yeah. Just real shit. And people yeah. still love it, so. They probably yeah. love it even more. Right. Because it's just raw. Right, right. Like, I put one up of uh, the kids trick-or-treating and stuff, and we were just walking down the just sidewalk. Just knocking on the yeah, door. Yeah, I just posted it. I was like, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, they'll That's love anything, funny. honeys. Yeah. They'll love anything. Right. You recorded sideways, right, for the vlog? Oh, First. always. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, that's yeah. the other problem. So I start recording sideways for YouTube, and then things start going like, I don't know. I'm like, is this going to be for OnlyFans, YouTube, Snapchat? Fa-? Like, I know. Gosh, I don't yeah. know which way I should be recording it or which footage to use on which platform. They should make it work. For all. Like, I know. Any that's... way you film, it should just be yeah. for all platforms. You guys didn't know I actually do both at the same time? Huh? Yeah, I record vertical and horizontal. You have one hand on each phone. Yeah. Or one, yeah, one yes, hand no, on each phone. Yeah, I already do that. Yeah. yeah you I've do s- it. I've seen you do that. I only Thank have you. one phone, though. So. Right, I only have one phone. I can only record one way, Brett. <laughs> so. I only have one phone and zero store. Well, I have two phones. I have zero storage. I pay for the nine ninety nine terabyte a month. Still uh-uh. don't have storage. I don't know what else hey, I could honey, delete. need a new phone here. Basically, what we're saying is we was basically what we're trying to get as we've got some new vlogs coming. Okay, we just talked about a whole bunch of nonsense for three minutes. Oh, they like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we got okay. some new stuff coming. Yeah. yeah. Did is that all, or should we do a DM of the day? I'm ready. What's for the it. DM for the day, honey? Oh, we'll tell you. One more. What's the DM for the day, honey? What's the DM for the day, honey? All right, you got one, honeys? Because I do. <laughs> yeah. This one I thought was so funny, dude. And I don't know why I thought it was funny. All my crazy DMs come from Facebook. And it says, Devin says, I can imagine you in the 1800s on your horse and buggy. Damn, those cowboys from back then would love you. He's not wrong. <laughs> I could imagine it, too. Isn't that the the funniest, sweetest, most random DM in the world? That would be majestic. I can imagine you in the 1800s on your horse and buggy. Damn, those cowboys from back then would love you. What a sweet, genuine message. Yeah, and something I've never thought about before. Never thought of it, and it wasn't like, hey, will you come <laughs> fart in my ass right. and suck it out? Right, I figured change of pace, you yeah. know. <laughs> Must be that new Yellowstone yeah. movie he was. Yeah, watching. he yeah. must. Eighteen eighty nine. Yeah, eighteen eighty three. Sorry, he's watching Yellowstone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Growing Hills, the Soul, five oh eight. I'm just gonna start reading the names okay. unless they tell me not to. Okay. Hey, honeys. Few episodes into the podcast here. Opinion on the sex position called erotic accordion. <gasps> huh. I've never heard of it. Me neither. Oh they're, oh, they're asking our opinion on erotic accordion? Yeah, opinion on the sex position called erotic Let me accordion. Google it. I've never heard. Erotic y- y- uh, accordion. accordion. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fingers are it involved. It put erotic, you couldn't. Erotic okay. accordion. What was it? Accordion. Yeah, A-C-C-O-R-D-I-O-N. Okay. Erotic accordion position. Oh, I like position. that. Really? Yeah. What does it look Let like? Let me look up You're images. Oh, I, okay. okay. Let me see. That's fucking funny. That's fucking funny. Oh. Erotic accordion. Why oh. do I say accordion? Accordion. Accordion. I thought that was an instrument. I would try it. Holy so shit! I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna tell people kind of what it looks like. The guy is laying on his back, 
Basically, like you'd change his diaper. With his legs up like you change his diaper. And then you come in and squat on his dick. Face for You're facing him. Yeah. And you're squatting down how you would ride his dick, but you're squatting down on his baby position. Like I'm going to try that. His diaper position. Looks like a queef position to me. Oh, there's definitely air. some some yeah. air getting up in all that shit. The guy's doing the queef position and the girl's riding on top of it. Yeah. I feel like this would only work if you have a big dick yeah. or 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 you're not a thick woman, right? You almost have to be a thin, like, you get what I'm saying at Maggie? Like, yeah. you, you couldn't do this if it was a small dick and a thick woman, uh-uh. I think. Could uh-uh. you just do it, like, maybe prop you up on a table and just that way you're on your back? And then That's a completely just... different position, right? Yeah. No. no, same position, just... No, you know, that's switching positions. I think no. the guy needs to be like that because the dick needs to bend that way. Exactly. The dick will bend back for sure. We'll try yeah. It. I always wonder, like, when you're riding a guy and you, you know, I wonder if their dick, like, does it hurt when it gets bent? Right. Get bent back? Uh, I mean, well, you know, if you, it might snap if you <laughs> come out too far and then go back. Back on it hard. Wait, no, I'm not, I'm not talking about in and out. Like the dick's already in, and you're just oh. moving your. Oh, you know, no, like if you ever go back too far, does it hurt your dick? Uh, I mean, oh don't go back too far. I guess it this might is, hurt. Yeah, hold on. Know. This is the this is a moment I really <laughs> wish we had a. I <laughs> wish we had a, no. <laughs> I don't want to fucking re see what I just. Face. Brett's face was literally hold just on. like. <laughs> this is this is a moment I really wish we had a camera on Brett because he before he answered he he goes. Uh, <laughs> putting his hands up yeah. again. Oh, uh, where g- am I? Dramatic, Brett. <laughs> Basically, the only concern is you know just that re-entry after you're kind of going pretty fast and okay. it might pop off. Here's my thing with weird positions. Too much. The dick slips. Let's stick with missionary doggy. Um, the normal stuff. If you start intertwining and stuff it doesn't become it's not fun it's too much work yeah and you can't even think about coming right no forget about that it's You're, almost like yoga yeah uh-huh all i think about is is my knee gonna fucking snap mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. and i'm not there to do yoga i'm there yeah. to get a nut mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> sorry uh-huh. you know yeah if so. i wanted to do yoga i'd just go exactly i'd go to a yoga class i would go to a yoga class if i wanted to do yoga i wouldn't go to a sex session I want to fuck to stretch. God. All right, let's do trivia. Wow. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, get trivy. Get trivy, y'all. Uh, get trivy. Get trivy, y'all. Oh, fuck uh, yeah. Get trivy. Get trivy, y'all. Uh. Hello, Sorry. everyone. I forgot it was your guys' podcast. Yeah, right. It's our podcast, but All that's right. okay. I enjoyed that. <clears throat> Five questions for okay. trivial. First okay. question. For trivial. <laughs> Ready. How many miles is New e- <laughs> New Zealand's 90-mile beach? Well, I'm 90. Just say ni- well, that they're I bet it's New- not. New Zealand's 90-mile beach. <laughs> Tri- Final question. answer. Final answer. It's a tricky. 55 miles long. <laughs> then don't call it a 90-mile beach, bitch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's like a mm-mm. size matters if you lie about it. Especially 40 feet mm-hmm. or miles. 40 A lot miles. of lion on beaches. Wow. Okay, next. Question number two. How many times per day does the average person urinate? I would say, well, I'm probably more than average. I Is would. It, do you want me to do a multiple choice? That's kind of, you know, there's a lot of nah, numbers out there. I'm just going to say okay. 15. I'm going to say 10. Eight. Now, I, I pee probably 15 times a day. I, mean, I drink a lot of coffee, and then sometimes I, I just pee. Just I have the littlest bladder, mm-hmm. tiniest bladder. Like what? It is 11 a.m. right now. I have peed three times, and I have to pee again right now, so that's four. Oh, and Chelsea's water is off right now for the next two weeks, so she's pissing in a bucket on her front porch. <laughs> And she has to shit. She's like, I was going to come over last night and come shit at your okay. house. Okay, here's the deal. Okay, I know we're in the middle, middle of trivia, but I'm going to I'm gonna say this. So we're doing some construction on, in our backyard, 
And uh, long story short, they ran into an issue with the water, the pipes, blah, blah, blah. We can't use the pipes for 10 days starting yesterday. So we're on day one, really. We can't use the sink. No water can go down. We can't use any water. We can't take showers. We can't use the bathroom and flush. Nothing. So Maggie and the girls are staying in the RV at an RV park. Easy. Taken care of. Greg uh, is shitting and showering at work because they have like a nice facility for, for that. Cool. Me, <laughs> I told you come over. I got home yesterday from Joshua Tree and had to piss, and Greg's like, "You can't use bathroom in here. You gotta go in the front yard." <laughs> so I went out to the front yard and been pissed. Mm-hmm. And then I go, "I don't want to come do. I don't want to do." It was a night time, so I was like, "Cool." So we got a bucket. It's on the porch, and that's what I've been pissing in. We have a mm-hmm. lot of like deliveries <laughs> yeah. throughout the day. Yeah. So we don't want to be pissing in the front yard. And I know people are like, why don't you go to the backyard? Our house is sloped on a mountain. <laughs> so you can't really walk out to the backyard without walking a bu- down a bunch of steps and stuff. And it's, it's too. There's goats. There's yeah. The front yard's easier. Yeah. Um, so I've been pissing in a bucket. And so it's time for a shower. I had to take a shit last night. So fucking bad. <laughs> and I was like, what am I going to do? Like, I don't want to shit in the bucket. No, I don't want to go shit in the yard. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, uh, but I didn't want to drive into town into Paige's, to Paige's house and go shit. I was like, I'm not in the mood. So I've been holding it. I'm actually still holding it right now. You should have Damn, just you need to go night. shit. I know. Yeah. So I'm going to. Come go, shit and I'm gonna shower. Sh- I'm going to shit and shower after the pod, yeah. Shit, shower, oh, and shave. Libby's here. She's in a hotel. Libby went and got a hotel because she was like, I'm not pissing in the bucket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so she's in a hotel. <laughs> Yeah, so I would just bring the bucket inside and piss in the bathroom. That's true. In the bucket. Oh, but it stinks. Yeah. You know how many pisses are in that bucket right now? Yeah. I just went and pissed in it. You did? Uh huh. I had to go. Oh, and Chelsea puts a net in it so it doesn't splash <laughs> up back on you. Stop. Stop it's it. A net. <laughs> I've got a net in there. Where'd you get I, the net from? Is that what it's from? For? Ace Hardware. Is that what the net's for? I though? don't know what the net's for. That's what I use it for. I'm posting your bucket. I'm um, stop. Well, somebody put toilet paper in there. Not me. Was it? I, I've been throwing it in the trash. And I'll tell you this. I I am a professional bucket pisser. If I need to pee, I have that bucket with me. If I don't have access to a bathroom. Why do I never have access to a bathroom, dude? I just thought about that. I don't know. On your tour, you didn't have access? That's where the bucket started. I know. Yeah. Because some of the green rooms didn't have bathrooms. Who's cleaning that bucket out? Me. I would never ask somebody else to clean that out. But where are you putting it? What do you mean? Where T- do you today? Uh-huh. I'll probably uh, throw it out. I'll probably throw it in the backyard. Oh, okay. Clean it out real good somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> With no water. Take it to Paige's house. Clean it out real good. Oh, she's taking that. All right, let's, let's answer the next trivia question. We got carried away. All right, question yeah. number three. What were the first ice hockey pucks made out of? I'm going to say like some sort of animal tooth. <laughs> it's probably true. Um, like, um... Like um, um, almost like elephant or like a hippo, something like that, like a trunk or a. I'm just I'll give you a clue. You're ice. on the line with the animal. Oh. Is correct. Okay. Let's just say a horn, like a hoof, a uh, fuck or something, like a okay. horn or something. Final answer. Mm-hmm. Uh, cow dung. Huh. Poop? Okay. Yeah. What? You know what's funny Poop. is I've heard that before. Now that you say that. Um, cow dung. They they make houses out of cow dung. Yeah. Really? And live in them. Whoa. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. Question number four. Okay. Police officers get a half hour class in training on how to do what? Oh, just a half hour? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Got to be something quick. Uh, uh, getting tased. Yes. Oh, uh, how to sit down. Huh? Yeah. So that's what they're doing. Have you guys got one right yet? I don't. No, no we <laughs> haven't, Brett. Sitting down. Yeah, that's that's wild. I never, I never knew. I that. wonder what you do. I don't know. Just All sit right. down. Last question. Question number five. Here we go. Uh, can't find it. Hmm, okay. Uh, this podcast is a shit show. Not prepared here, okay. man. man he's you know what? Not prepared there. What two languages have the most words in it? I can't find it. I know that's the question. That's making it. up trivia over there, dude. <laughs> oh, Lord. 
Oh, I found it. Okay, which language has the most words? English. Well, and there's one other one. Uh, Chinese. Chinese. They're exactly tied, I guess. Chinese. I <laughs> Russian. Ooh, I didn't know that. You guys learned a lot today. I feel like. And yeah. I do want to say, some people love <clears throat> the scatterness. Some some of our podcast, some of our episodes are very structured, and some are not. And some people love the structure, and some people some people love the non structure. So we're just switching it up for you. Well, we still follow the structure, right? But sometimes, I mean, we got so, mouse noises going on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and each week they're gonna see so much of us. Like, right? We're humans. Exactly. <laughs> do you guys have to pee? Stop. Okay. <laughs> That guy's going to love this episode. Hey, um, Did Brett write you the other day? He's like, I'm yes. going to write Chelsea right now and ask her if she has to pee. Yes. And a million people in my DMs every day. Oh, Did no. you pee today? You got to pee? I'm like, great. <laughs> um, hey, honeys. Why don't you go ahead and hand me that Letters to Penthouse book? Oh, are we done with trivia? Yeah, I think five, so, yeah. Five questions. Uh-huh. We're done. Yeah. We didn't get one right? Nope. Nope. Do you want to hey. do one maybe I think you'll get? Yeah, yeah. one more. Okay, let's see here. Um, oh, here we go. The Lone Star State is the official nickname of what? Texas. Texas. Hand me the letters to penthouse. (laughs) (laughs) All right. All right, guys. You guys loved when I read letters to penthouse. I am, we are going to come up with a, a fun little song to play, kind of like how we do trivia. And, you know, we're, we're, mm-hmm. we'll come up with something real cool here pretty soon. Maybe not by next week, but here pretty soon. I am going to start on page one of Letters to Penthouse. We have f- 454. So when will we end? What podcast episode will we be on? <laughs> Years. <laughs> Years. We're going to end this book in a couple years, guys. You ready? Literally. Maybe one podcast, just you read the whole time. I'll read a couple pages. I'll I'll go back and forth. Yeah. If we can't, like, for some reason, meet up to do a podcast, Mm -hmm. just, you know, read that whole thing. Got it. I'm going to start with page one, okay? And the chapter is Wives Gone Wild. Perfect. Oh, my dad said he loves this one. He loves Wives Gone Wild? Yeah. All right. Here we go. I'm reading the first page. Oh, God, I'm so excited. Oh, ready? She tried to cheat, but she couldn't do it until her husband gave the okay. Nick and I married when I was just 19, after going together nearly a year. We had sex on our 10th date, and almost every day after that. After we married, our sex life got even more active, and we did everything a man and a woman could do with each other. Most of the time, we would have intercourse two to four times a day. Nick was a good lover, always giving me lots of orgasms. I thought I was about the best fucked wife in our town. I never thought that I would end up in bed with another man before our third anniversary. I worked as a bank teller, and Nick worked long hours in his father's business. I was required to dress nicely for work. Always in a dress or a neat blouse and skirt. I liked looking sexy and being attractive to men. But I was not on the make. But I was not on the make. As I was getting miles of good, hard cock at home. On the day of my 21st birthday, I dressed as daring as I could. Because I was supposed to go out with the girls after work. And then meet Nick for dinner afterwards. Well... The girls managed to get me a little drunk as we celebrated at the local bar. And at 8 o'clock, they dropped me off at the restaurant where I was to meet my husband. Nick wasn't there yet. So I sat at the bar and had another drink. I almost finished that drink when a man sat down beside me. It was Walt, a frequent customer at the bank. <laughs> and that's the first and that's the first yeah. page. at the that's bank. Yeah. That's the first page. I love it. Should I finish yeah. the paragraph Very or just learning. keep it page to page? Ooh. God, I want to one more page. No. One more page? I don't know. Two pages? <laughs> if y'all are listening, what do you want? Was that enough? Do you want two pages? Do you want me to I mean, what's I don't want to overkill it and have, you know. Well, we're kind of left on Walt. Okay, we I'm going to leave it that and I'm going to finish the paragraph. It was Walt who I saw at the bank almost every day. He was about 20 years older than me, but quite attractive. And what with Nick being late, me feeling no pain, I was glad to see him. 
He bought me another drink and asked what I was up to. I told him it was my birthday, and I was waiting for my husband. And Walt toasted me and said my husband was a lucky man. All right. God. (laughs) Tune in next week for more. (laughs) Your husband's a lucky man. All right. All right. Hey, we're ready for the questions, boo. Let's do it. Viral podcast. Here we go. Hi, honeys. Amber here. Um, I have a question for the both of you. I was curious to know if you guys deal with any anger issues, situations, stuff like that, and how you might handle them. I myself am a 23-year-old full of fucking hormones woman, and I'm trying to find ways to channel this anger that, you know, every so often that just happens to me. And then, I don't know. I don't know. Love you, honeys. Bye. Love you, honeys. Love you, honeys. Good question here. Great question. I feel like I'm the opposite of having an anger problem. I feel like I have very little anger in me that situations where I probably should be angry, I'm not. Mm -hmm. But then when you're like driving a car, you're like, oh, fuck. That's different. Yeah. Yeah. You have different anger than me, I would say. Okay. That's different. If there's a cunt in front of me Mm -hmm. that's driving slow and stupid, yeah, I'm going to be like, you know, but I don't get angry, angry. I just get normal angry. Yeah. I would say, um, well, I used to, like, just have problems of just, like, speaking out as soon, you know, like, Mm -hmm. arguments, whatever, just speaking out and saying whatever then. But I think now it's just kind of better to sit back on it and think Mm -hmm. before you speak and do not speak when you're just totally outraged. Oh, for sure. That's what they teach you in anger management classes, too. Oh, for real? To not, to to take a minute, take a breath, take a breath, take a second. I collect think that's yourself. Good for everybody though. Yeah. Just in every even not angry. Like yeah. even if you're making a decision on something, it, you don't have to answer right then or respond right then. Like take some time for yourself so yeah. you don't like regret anything that you smart said. Smart. And I, breathe. Yeah. I had a uh, court ordered anger management classes. <laughs> I fucking love Maggie on here <laughs> and over there. Oh my god. Dude, my DMs, people are obsessed with Maggie on the podcast. They're like she her stories. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we do need Maggie right oh, here one day. I know. We got to have her here. We got to have yeah, her. Yeah, right. Well, yeah, we should do that next yeah, week. We will. But that was the one thing that they they taught us is to like don't react right when it happens just yeah. take a minute yeah that's hard to do in the moment yeah. it's the hardest but, fucking thing to yeah. do but you will feel so much better and i think grow from H- it hey just because i know i'm going to get a million dms she kicked a cop that's why she had court order anger management <laughs> yeah court order she kicked a cop so you know. maggie needs mercy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I, that's a good advice. That's good advice. I don't deal with anger issues, um, honestly. Um, things that really should make me mad, I, I just, I'm like, man, it's all good. That's kind of how I view things. I'm like, it's fine. It'll work out. Shit happens. It just sucks though. Sometimes, like when you care so much about something and yeah. you are like trying to get your point across, and people don't understand, and you try to, right? You know. It's hard not to get angry, but... For sure. For it's, sure. It's a tough one, but if you can, just hold off and mm-hmm. really think about what you're going to say and breathe. Take a breath. Yeah, just... Uh, I think meditation can really help with anger or... I want to start doing that. The way you view... And I've been saying that for a while now. I, I was going to say, you've been saying that for like I a know. year. I need to... I know. I know. Okay. Hey, honeys, just breathe here. Just do it here. Hey, honey. Biggest fan here. <laughs> My name's Tara. I'm actually from Missouri. And this question is for Chelsea. Chelsea, I know that you are a little bit bigger. No offense, but you're beautiful. I was wondering, how do you get comfortable, I guess, being on top? Like, What would you give advice for a bigger women who want to get on on top because I'm so insecure I feel like I'm killing somebody (laughs) um so anything any information please pass along love you honeys love you honeys love this question first off zero um offense taken you could say Chelsea you're you're 
you're a fat bitch. I am. I get that. That's not even a negative thing. I'm, I'm bigger. I have a bigger body. That's okay to say, you know what I mean? Um, but, oh God, riding on top is my favorite, man. Here's my advice to you. Okay. (sighs) He knows you're big. All right. If you are in a situation with him where you're having sex, that is because he finds you attractive and he wants to have sex with you. Please understand that. If he didn't, he wouldn't. Mm -hmm. It's in your head. It's just in your head. Okay. He is there because he wants it. Just know that. I cannot stress that enough. He's not going to get a situation with you if he did not find you attractive and didn't want it. Okay? Um, So, for me, just knowing that, no bars, No, I'm holding nothing back. This motherfucker wants me, we're fucking, I'm getting on top. Hm, and riding that cock. Throw your rock bottom pussy on top. Exactly. Just start riding. Give him some of that rock bottom pussy. Um, God, riding on top is my favorite. Yeah, and even if you're, you know, the guy's smaller than you, I'm telling you, he doesn't fucking care. He likes what he sees and he wants it. He, he want he, okay, especially confidence in the bedroom, even sexier. A woman that's not holding anything back and that just is having fun mm-hmm. makes it better for both of you. I remember, you know, yeah, I remember a, a friend of mine was like talking about this girl sucking his dick and he was like, yeah, she just like it kind of sucked because she would just be like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. And he's like, that annoyed me. Like, just yeah, just tr- at least well, just try at least no, just fake, like, com- just fake, fake the confidence. Yeah, yeah, because that's all you can do. Like, if you're just like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. That just yeah. puts the entire image on you. Uh-huh. is like you don't know what you're doing. Just go yep. in there with. You do know what the fuck you're doing, and you're going to ride that dick. Fake the confidence, and that will eventually turn into having real confidence. Mm -hmm. Matt, you got any tips on 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 being bigger than a dude or riding a dick as a big as a like? What What are you? That's the only thing I was going to say is be confident. Yes, a guy doesn't want somebody that that is like, oh, don't look at me and all shit. shit. Let's turn off the lights. Let me put my shirt on. No, bitch. No, he sees you. Uh He knows you have a a belly he knows you have a fupa he does not give a fuck yeah. climb on top and get your nut i'm dead serious man plus he probably just wants to lay down and just you know just have your item. enjoy yeah. it exactly and, exactly and like no matter the weight like sometimes i feel like i'm crushing brett and i don't give a fuck no yeah you <laughs> no. could never crush me no go like, harder because i'm go not harder because my legs start hurting dude so i got to Kind of rest and just oh yeah yeah. But you, you all these dudes are like all these chicks like oh I'll hurt you I'll hurt you and they're like I'm I will be hurt or die having a great time. They don't give a fuck. Uh, yeah, yeah. So have some confidence. Go in there knowing that you deserve to be up in there and you you know get your nut and have fun. <laughs> just have fun. Man, now I'm in the r- mood to ride a dick. I know dude. that's Fuck. what I was thinking. I want to ride. Yeah, <laughs> I want to ride. Too. ride. <laughs> Me too. You love on top. Chelsea oh. loves to ride. Oh, that's my favorite. Top uh-huh. on top. I want to ride. And just from what I've heard, just from like DMs and stuff, that's like women hate it. And I wonder if that's why they feel like insecure or feel like they're bought. I don't know, but oh. Oh, I love, that's my favorite position. I don't not hate it. I'd rather just lay there like Patrick. Yeah. (laughs) Patrick the star, dude. Because it just, that's, I can't really focus on my nuts. Oh, I, it's, what do you got to say, Brett? Oh, nothing. You sure? You're, you (laughs) got, he's got something I'm just listening. Okay. (laughs) Did he just do that laugh? Yeah. (laughs) No, I didn't do the laugh. (laughs) Okay. Okay, so Brett's addicted to 2K22 NBA right now on the Xbox. Yeah. And he's also addicting to go, addicted to going. Nah, it's a puffer fish. Puffer fish laugh. Yeah. yeah. And he did it probably 300 times last night. Oh. And pro- one of the laughs was like a minute of. <laughs> I think Jerry did it 300 times Brett, too. why'd you do that Him so many times? Him and Jerry no, are like w- my kids, dude. 
Well, it started because she got mad about, said I uh, laugh too loud. <laughs> so it's me trying to hold in my laugh as the puffer fish. Stop. Yeah. I said, Brett, if you can't contain your laughs tomorrow on the podcast, we're going to have to have somebody come in and read the <laughs> trivia and stuff. And Jerry then almost, can, yeah, sorry. I'm cutting the mic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. So you got mad at him for having a loud laugh. So now that he tries to contain it, <laughs> she's mad at yeah. All of his laughs are I know. fake. I know. Oh, no, what? I know that. Okay. <laughs> said what? As long as you know. I love laughing, babe. I'm a professional <laughs> laugher. You're a clapper. Laugher. Anyway, oh, here yeah. we go. Next caller. Hey, honeys. Herpes here. I'm listening to your most recent podcast, and I heard the caller who was talking about she just got diagnosed with herpes, and I actually went through such a similar situation a couple of years ago. I was having this weird situation down there, and I went into the doctor. Sure enough, she goes, this looks like herpes but we need to have tests to make sure. And you should have seen my fucking face. That was the last thing I expected. I would have had, I had the same partner for like two or three years. I don't know when, where, how I got it. Um, I might've gotten it a long ass time ago when I was single and it just flared up randomly. So I wanted to tell that caller, don't be ashamed, girl. It is so common. I'm in the same situation as you are and I'm thriving. So you will too. All right. Love you, honeys. Bye. Love you, honeys. I'm oh living here. I was about to say, thank you for calling in and, and, and being so positive. And mm-hmm. hey, honey's thriving here. Yeah. You, so you, there's nothing you can, you, there's nothing you can do about it. You no. know, can't just. And I will say out of everything we've talked about on this podcast, mm-hmm. without a doubt, I have never gotten so many DMs regarding this topic, positive DMs from people regarding talking about this, um, normalizing it, chat, you know, uh, uh, I was not expecting that. And how their partners deal with it. And mm-hmm. and about how so many people are like, you know, I've, uh, I've been tested and I have it and I've never had an outbreak. I've had it for years and I've never had one outbreak. So that's how people don't know they have it. And then they assume they don't have it because they don't have outbreaks. So they transfer. I mean, it's so fucking common. It's so easy to get, apparently. Like, it's just, let's just all chill. You know what I mean? It's just a flare-up. It's just a flare-up. And this bitch is thriving. Look at her. You, exactly. That's, that's all you can do is be positive and, oh, 100%. <laughs> and thrive because. 100%. What else are you going to do? Lots of positive feedback on the herp talk. Mm-hmm. For sure. You know, yeah, it seems it's like definitely the, okay. It seems like a lot of people are getting herpes and they just don't know how they got it. One in three, you know, they slip, fell, landed in some herpes. Something. At least, at mm-hmm. least that, yeah. Sounds well, suspicious to me. Well, well they, don't, it's, they don't know because no, why? Sim- you get have if you have no symptoms and you, I mean, I we could all have it right now and just not yeah. even know because that's yeah. the thing. Mm-hmm. That's like, that's what I'm saying. You could have it for a long time. You could have it for years before you ever get a flare up. Well, how do you know if you don't get if you don't go and get tested regularly? You're not going to know you have it, so you're going to assume you don't, and then you're going to sleep with people. That's how one in three people have it. Maybe mm-hmm. that's the secret. You just don't get tested. <laughs> that is the and secret. Not know. <laughs> that's why I don't have them. Yeah. Hey, honey's. I have a uh, a uh, gynecological appointment. This. When is it? Next week? Gynecological. That's my new word. I think I think that is a word, actually. Fuck, dude. I've never heard that one. And then we're getting Paige set up one as well. She's going to go. Yay. Hold hey, on, honey. Hold on. Need health go. insurance here. <laughs> Woo. Get that pussy swapped. Get that pussy oh. swapped, honeys. Exactly. So, um... Yeah, love love the topic. We should have like eventually like a like talk more about it. Once I know more, I don't like to talk about things that I don't know a whole lot about. So once I know a whole lot about, we could have some questions and some and some uh, um, yeah callers yeah. Can call in. I think we should talk about that some more. For I would sure. definitely like to dive more mm-hmm. in on this topic. And STDs in well, general. We, yeah, STDs in general, and I feel like. I've learned so much already from mm-hmm. all the comments on yep. the YouTube. And, yeah, it's just so nice for us all to yeah. learn. Because, because I was thinking, I don't 
know a lot about STD. Like I know what they are. Mm-hmm. And as a kid, you're you're told practice safe sex or you'll get STDs. That's all they tell and you. And that's all I know. That's all I know. And if you get an STD, you pretty much just take some anything with a slin in it and you're good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a slin? Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Penicillin. Penicillin, yeah. and it goes away. Moxicillin. Yeah. Some type of cillin. So it's like so I, just would, I would like to know more about what is what and how do you get you know like especially because it's such a common thing. Common. And and everybody's afraid to talk about it because people are shamed as being. Yeah, 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 but you, know? you are not alone because uh, no. I mean, look at the comments. Everyone's dealing exactly. With exactly. Some, yeah. So thank you for calling in, honeys. We love you. Love you. Hey, honeys. This is Brooke from Utah. Okay, so I just discovered you guys this week, and I am loving it. I have binged, like, 11 episodes in the last five days. So I'm on episode 11 when you guys are talking about um, soaking. And then Paige started talking about dry humping. So in Utah, it's called derfing. So there's people all over TikTok that are making TikToks about just people coming over and derfing. So there's a lot of weird shit that happens in Utah. But just wanted to call in and say, hey, love you guys. Love you, honeys. Love you. Derping? Derfing. Derfing. Dry humping and... Man, what's people the, in Utah are people really in getting U- around it, aren't they? People in Utah <laughs> will do everything except intercourse. And I don't yeah. get it. People in Utah will do anything in their power to look like a good fucking human. Yeah. But be the yeah Soaking sluttiest mm-hmm. person um, behind it all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we'll show up to church on Sunday. Right. Wow. Derping. 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 Well, I will say I love dry humping. I love, <sighs> and you don't, you know, I don't get to do that anymore because I'm 34. But it know? leads to sex. Right. Oh, but I love like mm, back in the day, just just dry humping. Just, oh, just your bell bottom jeans, just that slit r- rubbing on your clit. Uh huh. Oh, kind of sounds like some content, you know? What dry humping? Yeah, for what? only fans. Yeah. <laughs> Who's she gonna dry hump? I don't know anything. Nobody just wants sit to sit there see and that. dry hump, Greg. <laughs> Nobody yeah. wants to see that. Oh, I can assure you that. God, I, don't, I yeah, I didn't know about derping. We still need to get someone on. To oh, talk. It's a derf. Why do I it's say a, it's an F? Yeah, <laughs> derp. Um, we still need to get someone on to talk about soaking. I have not found anybody yet, but I will. I'm I'm dead serious. I want to have somebody come on and talk about soaking. If they've soaked, if they've bed jumped, I'm still looking for that. Bed jumped. Nobody's gonna cop to it. I think there's someone out there. Maybe an ex Mormon. Maybe we need the three people. All sitting around the bed jumper and the two fuckers. Now that's gonna or be the rare. Two soakers. Rare. That's gonna be very rare. Beth's calling. It's like me. a rare Pokemon. Yeah, that's um, gonna be rare. Damn. What? I wonder what it stands for though. Like, well, just dry humping, obviously, right? But what's the F? I don't know. Wow. Wild. And why are kids doing this on TikTok? <laughs> But we're deleted on Instagram. I was about to say, I can't post one damn TikTok without it getting taken down, but people are dry humping on there? Got it. Kids? Children? <laughs> Good. Good to know. Okay, let's just switch the fucking words to what we're saying. Right. What should pussy be called? I don't know. Pussy. 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 <laughs> Fuck. Hey, Laura from Missouri here. Day one podcast for rock fucker fan here. <laughs> Here's a quick look into my life currently quarantined. The COVID done got it. Anyways, I was super bored in my room, so I was smoking some weed and started reorganizing my room. Out of nowhere, all of a sudden, I can't stop thinking about Patrick Swayze in Roadhouse, and I got horny as fuck. And you best believe I put my laundry on fluff and then went and got my nut on. So also, thank you, honeys, for that Adam and Eve code. Just sharing some more juicy stories. Keep it up, ladies. Love you. Bye. Honeys, we love you. Love you. You use the Adam and Eve code and you're busting nuts and you're busting nuts to Patrick Swayze in Roadhouse. <laughs> Patrick Swayze. Do you, what huh? do you, how do you think about Patrick Swayze? I think he's good looking, actually. Yeah. But I I've thought never... she said, who was he? Oh, oh no. Oh, I actually knew because 
Yeah, yeah I yeah. knew. I know that uh, one. Ways, yes. But I have never watched Roadhouse. You you gotta watch it, Paige. God, is it a good one? Yes, Roadhouse. I've never seen it either. She hasn't even seen Dirty Dancing. Yeah, we gotta have a movie, a, a podcast. Um, what's it called? A team build. A team building. <laughs> a team workshop. <laughs> Let's do it. Where we're watching movies together. That'd be fun. Oh, and everyone keeps asking me if you've watched Monster. Well, she, she did. We, we told them that I I'm, did. I'm still getting DMs from people. Holy did shit. Did Paige watch Monster? Did Paige watch Monster? All the time. They must be listening to the previous, yeah. previous episodes. She did watch I, Monster. Because I did. But I still need to catch up on I Love Lucy. And uh, I have a whole list, dude. It's like a yeah. full one of yeah. every single person who has told me to watch. I know. Like, I need some more years in my life. Yeah. We need more time. Yeah, where's the to watch. time? I wish I wish there were 24 hours in the day to do all your stuff and all your sleeping and stuff you need to get done. And then I wish there was an dis- additional, like, five hours yeah. just f- to watch TV. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right? God, yes. But how are we going to get this energy? We might need to start doing like, it's just, cocaine or something. It, yeah, I don't know. It's just separate. It's a separate. Maybe we take a little cat nap. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Wait, so do we have those sound bites yet, Brett? Oh, not yeah. on, not over here. We don't. Okay. Well, I mean, I mean, I have them for when I. Uh, he has them on the laptop. We'll work on that. Ru- oh, uh, Rutha. Yeah, uh, maybe thing. There's actually too much noise going on in the background, so it's just it's not going to work. Well, when she said maybe it's yeah. It's we'll be the judges of that. We want to hear but it. But I do have the how do you suck dick and mm, how do you I, suck? Listen to that one. You don't have it up. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Wrong one. Why not? How do you suck dick? I love her so How much. Dick. That was literally the whole question. The whole call. Was that the first call we ever played on this podcast? I think so. And felt in love. Yeah. Mm, mm, how do you suck dick? <laughs> and, and then it's how she opens it with, mm, how yeah. do you suck dick? <laughs> yeah. Mm, it's like, mm, maybe. Mm, maybe. maybe. <laughs> All right. We're ready for the next question. Love, Pat. Hi. I'm the same one that called about the boyfriend that may or may not be using meth um i'm so sorry like my i talk forever but i just don't know what to do because i love him so much i don't want to leave him but i also don't want to encourage that behavior either and i just don't even know what to do anymore um but i love you guys and that's basically it so <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah what did she say so she must i'm assuming she's she made another call we haven't heard that we just heard this call um is what i'm assuming but she said that her she thinks her boyfriend or fiance boyfriend fiance boyfriend boyfriend yeah she thinks her boyfriend is smoking meth and she doesn't know what to do she doesn't want to leave him but she doesn't want to encourage that that's tough because If you think he's smoking meth, if there's that gut feeling, if something's off, how do you not, have you asked him? Um, What does he say? If you think something's off, more than likely it is. I say always go with your gut. My gut's always right, dude, about stuff. Always. It seems like he maybe had a past with drug abuse. Yeah. Um, It's hard to say. It's hard to really give advice on that because people are going to do what they're going to want to do and they're going to, all I know is what I would do. I I have always told myself I have a zero tolerance policy for any of that shit. Um, and there is no way you can help people. No. They have to help themselves. No. And she sounds really young. Yeah. Like, she, does. she doesn't sound. She sounded very young. Yeah. You got to get out of that situation because it things will never get better. No. And you will just keep going in a full circle of putting it. You're kind of abusing yourself and enabling yourself to just be put in a bad situation and to 100%, get hurt. 100%. So. And if you, you, you can't help someone on drugs Not at all. as much as you think you can, as much as you, well, I want to be there for this or I want to help them with it. Like you, they have to help themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, and they'll tell you whatever you want to hear. They'll say, you know, I'm getting better, this and that. Actions speak way louder than those yeah. words. Yeah. Maggie's dealt through, she's been through this exact thing. And if anyone knows, mm-hmm. it's this bitch. And yep. you guys, just Listen. with your parents and just with, you've been around it all so much. 100%. 
They, you know, they're, they'll, they're drug addicts. They'll lie. They'll manipulate. And they'll tell you what you want to hear. Mm-hmm. Just so you shut up and leave them alone and mm-hmm. don't talk about They'll it. They'll steal from you. Mm-hmm. Uh, God, everything. I was with um, the girl's dad. Gosh, I'm trying to think how long like, we were actually together. Like eight years? If not longer. Eight years. I stay with him through like nine oh. rehabs, in and out of jail. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, it is not going to get better. No. And gosh. No, it's not. And how did you finally, like, just leave? You just were like, okay, I'm fucking after the... Okay, here's what got me. He did, like, 14 months in rehab, and I stayed the whole time. Like, I was there trying to help him, and he came home. You would drive, what, six hours? Yeah. Once a week? Every weekend. To go see him, to go support him, everything. Send him money. I Uh mean, I was there, like, holding Mm -hmm. it down. Working, taking care of the Two kids. Two little kids. Mm-hmm. Um, he got home, and he he was very, you know, narcissist, mad, controlling anyway. Uh, aside without, aside yeah. from the drugs, he was a problem. Uh, yeah, mixed exactly. The two. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, but Chelsea was there, and she was, you know, visiting. I think it was around Christmas time. We had, we had went to Austin for the weekend for a little, a little girl's trip, a little, you know. And he got mad. And that you went with your sister. He got mad because I spent the weekend with them and uh and went and got high and told me it was my fault. <gasps> when oh, I got that home, me off he so said, bad. you know, you did this, this was your fault. And I said, dude, fuck you. Loaded my shit and we literally drove out to California, me and Chelsea. Good and the kids. Good. Mm-hmm. And I fucking cried the whole way. I was like, oh, yeah. my God, it was horrible. Well, because any yeah. change is just so hard. And then, well, and just like the people you love and the people you care for and you want the best for them and you try your hardest to help them and they don't they don't respect themselves enough or yeah. you to change. It's just like, OK, you got to go. Yeah, it was that last round for me, mm-hmm. that 14 months. Mm-hmm. And and what? I just and I, I literally left like everything my whole house Mm -hmm. we packed like backpacks Mm -hmm. and just left yeah we didn't could you imagine still being there fuck no oh god God, no it seemed like you were prepared though like you had some good time to think the 14 months you know like if he said something like that well the whole time he was in there i said i said you know i was there for like nine rehabs and all Mm -hmm. this shit and all these years and i was like if you get out and you do this again i'm leaving like he knew good yeah, yeah stand your But ground. then he didn't, but then he never thought I would leave. Because you didn't before. Yeah. yeah. He was that's, like, I never really thought you would actually do it. Right. And I'm mm-hmm. like. And that's why he would continue to. Yeah. I would say that's a good point. Like, if you say you are going to do something, do yeah. it. Because they will never take you serious for the rest of exactly. the time. And anything you say, they'll, oh, she said that before, but I'm going to fucking keep doing it. Because she let but me I stay. But I had to for the kids. Right. Yeah, that's what I was about older. to say. Like, I, I chose them. Yeah. There's so many There's situations. There's no way I could still be there with, with the kids. And that's what I was going to say. That's why I said at the very beginning, it's hard to say what somebody else would do. But it's very easy just to say, oh, just leave. But in, in whatever regards, whether mm-hmm. it's drugs, whether it's abuse, whether it's whatever, I, you know, abused women, I think it's what they leave on average, what, ten, like eight Eight to ten times they they leave and come back to the abuser what eight to ten times before they make the official final leave. It's it's so. And I, I will say though, like a lot of women don't have a support system mm-hmm. and family because that's what their abusers do. They are their abusers like seclude them from or, everybody. Or yeah, they're not close or whatever. Yeah. Um, I mean, if it wasn't for Chelsea and Beth, I don't know where I would be. I'd probably still be there. Yeah, mm-hmm. honestly. Yeah. I don't know. Reaching out to people and just family. Yeah. Without like family, it'd be so hard yeah, to I'm do very lucky mm-hmm. that you had you people know, to, to like have them push you to me. go to. And I feel yeah. like, I feel like good people, good people can be on drugs yeah. and, and the drugs just are so, they over, they, the drugs are so fucking horrible, man. And they can literally take over a person's fucking life body and soul and make them not what they were it's so sad and and it's very sad it's very sad and growing up with drug addicts man i remember being six seven years old 
and just being like, mm, 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 this ain't going to be me. Yeah. No, ma'am. You no, saw ma'am. crazy. That's crazy that we were so young and we already knew. No, ma'am. You My life's going to be and different. You were like, nope. Mm-hmm. So we've, we've, I've been around drugs my whole life, our whole lives. Yeah. You know, as an adult, I've dealt with it through Maggie and that issue. And, and it's, I'm telling you, it's not, it's not. It, if you keep taking them back though, you probably have like this, or like if you finally leave, you probably feel so guilty at first. Like, oh my gosh, what if they like yep. die? And, like that's going to yep. be my fault. Like, yep. but you can't, that cannot be your fault because right. you have tried and did everything in your power to help. And it's like, okay, if they want to go down that path and you've tried, then just see ya. Exactly. Because if not, you're going to go down that path with them and never be happy. Exactly. That's a, that's a whole so hard, hard situation. The whole thing, top to bottom, mm-hmm. is hard. Something else is, like, he wasn't even on drugs or, or anything when we first got together. Right. It started out like, you know, let's let me just do it on the weekends or let me do this or let me do that. Um. But it turned into like full blown, mm. and he tried you to. He tried you to. He wanted you to do drugs with him. Oh, yeah. like yeah. He tried to get her all to do like let's do drugs. Let's do this together. It's gonna make him feel better. You're right, and she'll get off his nuts, and he'll. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. And thank God, Maggie was like, "Dude, I was your like, job, Maggie. I got, t- I got kids to take care of." Yeah, you're you know? like, fuck. Yeah, somebody's <sighs> hard situation. I fucking hate drugs, dude. Yeah. Horrible. So, and people build up a tolerance too, and they're like, "Okay, that's not doing much. I need more, more, mm-hmm. more, more, more." Like to the point where it just ruins your life. Mm-hmm. You can't. You bottom line, you can't help someone. Mm-mm. They they have to do it on their own. Mm-hmm. And love you though, and stay strong. You. Yeah. Hey, honeys, milk magnet here. <laughs> so I got a pretty good story for you. Um, so it's about when I. Got married to my now ex-wife. Uh, yeah, so um, I was actually messing with her daughter first. You know, I was uh, <laughs> trying to get her to mess around with me. And she was like, oh, you know, let's go to my mom's. Let's go hang out with my mom. I'm like, okay, that's cool. So he and her and her mom are chilling. All of a sudden, she leaves. And it's just me and her mom. And I'm like, hmm. Okay. Well, I'm I'm drunk. We're we're drunk, and uh, things come to uh, really hot and heavy. And then all of a sudden, I get with her mom. And so then later on, her daughter gets married to a woman, and they all start calling me daddy because I'm like legit step daddy now. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um, I'd like to. Let you know how you would feel if you all become a stepdaddy all of a sudden. <laughs> also, hey, Maggie, what's good? You can piss on me any day. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, honey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, There's my stepdaddy. Yes. There's your stepdaddy. <laughs> There's your stepdaddy. <laughs> I think first off, wild. You, th- I <laughs> love that they all started calling her stepdaddy. Yeah, <laughs> that's the best. That's wild. I think I could be a stepdaddy for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. You I have think we all could. Yeah. Thank mm-hmm. you, thank you. Uh huh. Oh my Step god. Daddy. Well, Maggie, if you ever want to piss on someone, you know the number. You save that bitch's number. I'm, s- I'm saving that number. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, honey. Oh, oh you, Brett. You can go ahead, Brett. So Whatever. I thought maybe you were just done there. So she she started out with the daughter and started hooking up with the mom? Yeah. Dude. That's I wonder wild. if she fucked the daughter and the mom. Oh, for sure. Or, or at least, isn't that what she said? I thought she said she was trying to, like, oh, get her. and the daughter wouldn't put out, but the mommy did. The wow. mama. She got that mom. She got that mommy. She got that mom, that, pussy. Huh. Wow. Like, alcohol will just make you do the most. <laughs> Yeah, we it'll make you fuck your girlfriend's mom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were saying that yesterday, day though. Like, what? Just alcohol, you know? Just ah, oh, sure, I'll. F- <laughs> yeah, I'll fuck you. <laughs> that just reminded me of you like to fuck your kids. Stop <laughs> on the movie Monster. 
Oh, yeah. There's a scene. Okay. <laughs> we say that all the time. We do. You like to fuck your kids? There's a scene where she has a John, and he's like, oh, yeah, I want you to call me daddy. And at this point, she's over these. Yeah. You've never seen a movie monster. Mode. She's in murder mode. And he's like, oh, I want you to call me daddy. She's like, hmm, you like to fuck your kids? <laughs> and he goes, what? And she goes, nothing. Never mind. Like, it ruined, you know, it's just, God, that's such a good movie. Yeah. God. God, that's such a good movie. She is a badass. Yeah, some people would disagree with you. Well, I just like how she's like hardcore. Yeah, some people. Okay, if the 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 serial killer Aileen Warnos, who's the movie is based upon, it's real life. She was a, um, a prostitute in Florida, and she started murdering men. And she, a lot of people are half and half. Half the people. Um, feel bad for her and think, you know, she had a very abusive childhood, a very abusive life, and then these Johns abused her and she killed them. She should have been let free. She should have been, you know, like they, they sympathize with her. And then the other half is like, no, nah, bro, she killed people. It doesn't matter how, you know, it doesn't matter this. And so people are 50-50. I go back and forth i love her i mean she shouldn't have murdered people well wasn't it kind of self-defense well we don't know some some probably but some I'm, i don't think we're gonna oh. have to watch the movie again Sounds yeah. like yeah oh wow yeah. i must yeah. have been sleeping on those if parts. they would have let her go she would have definitely continued to for kill sure people. oh okay for sure she, she killed just for got money. a taste of well it, people are saying know? she shouldn't have got the death penalty um you know I, she claims that all every single murder was self-defense that's what she claims. Nobody know. I don't know. Nobody knows. Oh yeah, she did kind of. She claims mm. that they were all self defense, um, but people do abuse and kill prostitutes, <laughs> like it's nothing. Yeah. So was she? I mean, were some of them self defense? Oh, I have no doubt. You know, but I don't know. I, Scott, I wish she was still around. I know though. they shouldn't have killed her though. I know. I, I think yeah. so much goes on that we don't. That, just there's a whole other world out there. Oh, regarding everything. Yes. And regarding stuff we don't know about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's so much out there that we don't know. Oh. And there's things we think we know, uh -huh. but we don't. True life. MTV. Like, think about all the things we don't know about, dude. It's kind of scary. It's scary, and at the same time, I don't want to think about it because I just yeah. want to enjoy my life. I, exactly, that's what I was thinking. But you want to know. I want to enjoy my life, but I also want to dive in without like mm -hmm. having it fucking ruin my life mm -hmm. and my brain cells. Mm -hmm. A hundred percent. Wow. All right. <clears throat> how are they going to... Hey, honey. What's that, babe? Oh, I was just doing a TikTok. Like, how are they going to know? I don't know why. I got a shit so bad right now. Me too. <laughs> God, go ahead, Brett. Um, let us be in here. So I'm <laughs> laying in bed and I'm having flashbacks of a time when I was having sex with a girl, and she <laughs> she had she put her strap on and she was strapping me down, you know, and I was, like, nervous because we had only had, like, sex, like, once or twice. And I, like, really liked her. So I got a little nervous. So when she decided to um, start fucking me super hard, <laughs> I farted. And I about died of embarrassment. And I've told people, like, maybe, like, three people. And I'm, like, super embarrassed about it. But I just had to confess it because I feel like you guys would laugh. But. Thank you. Love you. Have a good one. Bye. Love you, honeys. Love you. I don't, don't think be I've, embarrassed. No. I don't think I've ever farted during sex. But I did like a like a Q&A on Instagram, you know, when I had my Instagram a while back. <laughs> and uh, somebody asked a question. I had so many DMs about people are like, oh, I fart during sex on a regular basis just because it just come. It just. It just. It, they slips. got those loose assholes. Yeah. Hey, it's not a good a good sex session without a couple farts in there. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bitch. Mine are more queefs. Oh, yeah, yeah I qu I'll queef if, if yeah. But I, I've never far. I've never, like, farted on I, accident during sex. I don't think ever. I've never, like, ripped ass, but I have had moments where I'm like, 
you could fart. No. You gotta hold it in. No, you know, like when you squeeze your cheeks together, but you know something came out, and you know oh. if you go down there, you will smell it. Oh. They're not audible. You have but a, you they had will a, be edible. <laughs> you know, because Brett will be like, hey, I'm gonna go down there. And he, I'm like, mm, maybe skip for a couple minutes because it's a hot one rolling up the cheeks. Oh. Those Just, hot ones will get you. you at least she warned you that. I was about to say, you had a seepage. Yeah, yeah. the seepage. Seeper. I guess I, I have listen, seepers. I wouldn't even wait a couple minutes. I, if I if I have a seepage and someone's wanting to go down there, I'm I'm saying absolutely not until I fucking take a shower. So you wait a couple minutes and then let him go down there? No, I just will say let's just fuck. I'll say I'm... I, Brett's yeah. learning a lot right now. No, I said the other day, I'm yeah. like, I have, a, I did a little fart. You don't want to go down there. Well, I never knew it was about the, the toots. Sometimes. Mm-hmm. Hey, when's the last time y'all fucked? Right um, before we yeah, left jo- to Joshua Tree. Like the night okay. before. She rode for about 30, I think. It was, Ooh, it was a good time. Yeah. My right leg was hurt and kind of... I said... Whoa. I kind of felt like the man and stuff. Whoa. You know, felt pretty good. Yeah. Oh. That's not going to happen oh. again for a minute, though. Uh, <laughs> once, in a, once every six months. I thought it was gonna be like a every time thing based on last time, but no. No, but I'm not a I'm I'm not a farter during sex. I don't know what I don't know. I've never farted during sex. But Maggie, you mate, you're right. Maybe I'm just not having that good. I feel like you're not getting right it down good enough. Right. Like how hard you gotta go to be getting farts? To, that you gotta be going hard to knock out a fart. <laughs> I told <laughs> I was telling Chelsea this weekend because like. Well, we went off-roading a little bit, but um, we used to jump my friend's car so hard in high school that it would spark when we would land, and Jesus. I and I would fart. <laughs> <laughs> like, it would, it, would, <laughs> it would, like, push me down so hard. Like, I would uh-huh. sometimes be like, and Like, it knocks the air out mm-hmm. of you. Damn. If you're jumping a car so hard it sparked after you landed, that's... Shit. Damn. Mm-hmm. All right, don't be embarrassed though. It's very common, honeys. People fart during sex, except me. And if you burp, that's like <laughs> farting out of your mouth. Right, same thing, different hole. Mm-hmm. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Are you looking to spice things up this Valentine's Day? Well, look no further. AdamandEve.com is going to have everything you need to have a wonderful, romantic, spicy. Evening. If you've been holding out on adamandeve.com, slip on over to make your night the spiciest night you've ever encountered. They're giving you guys 50% off any one item plus free shipping. Go to adamandeve.com and use code viral at checkout. That's right. Use code V-I-R-A-L at checkout for 50% off most any one item plus free shipping. That's a damn good deal to bust a hard nut. Have a happy, happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Oh, yeah. Hey, honey. It's Michael here. So I'm listening to episode 18 and Chelsea. I spit in something, too. Nobody from the West is going to know what Luby's is, but you might know what Luby's is because you're from Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. So I used to work at Luby's many years ago, and this fucking asshole came into the line, and uh, you know those customers. Well, I had to go to the back to get them their fucking tartar sauce. <clears throat> I hawked, I've never done this, I hawked the biggest fucking Luby oh. and stirred it into the bowl. Never in my life have I done that. It was the one and only time. I never told anybody. Uh. I was the I was the trainer. I was their supervisor. Bitch, piss me off. Mm-hmm. Don't piss off people that work with your food. Mm-mm. Thank you for calling in. I do I, I love this follow-up because I do want to say last episode we talked about I worked fast food for eight years. <clears throat> I um, I licked a piece of cheese and I did spit in a drink once. And, you know, I got a, I got a couple, two or three comments from people being like, Chelsea, that's, that's actually disgusting. I can't. Nah, 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 nah. Well, yeah. That's the point. It is disgusting. It's disgusting being a bitch to people for no reason. Exactly. Amen. Amen. So be nice to people, okay? It's really not that hard. Um, be nice to fast food workers, restaurant workers. Like, it's it's not hard. Those people that wrote you mm-hmm. are mm-hmm. probably the ones mm-hmm. getting their shit fucked with. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah. If your if your order's messed up, just say, "Hey, uh, this is not what I ordered. This is not like." There's no need. There's no need to be a cunt for the extra drama. Right. Yeah, just the common sense of not messing with someone who's making your food too is interesting to me. Like, why right. would you do that? Right. They're, they're probably a big dick anyway. And you know what? Like, yeah, this was forever ago. I was probably fucking what t- 19, 20 years old, twenty whatever. But that doesn't matter because if I worked fast food right now and you were an absolute fucking cunt to me, would I would I lick your cheese? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Gosh, I want that button, I dude. Know, I know. <laughs> Maybe. Put some cream. <laughs> oh, put your creamed corn on it. <laughs> Creamy. And I saw a, com- a YouTube comment, and somebody goes, I love how Paige finds a way to bring up the cream every episode. Yeah. And we were, and we, 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 well, we almost had it. Almost. That was Maggie. <laughs> Maggie loves the cream. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I love a good old creamy the, pussy. <laughs> well, this weekend, I'm like, here, because Chelsea just always, like, gets her pussy lips. Oh. So I'll lay. When you lay That's your them, favorite thing. Stop. She opened up her pussy lips, and it's, and it. Kind it sounds like this. Hold on, hold on. So I like to, I'll just, if she, if, if, her, if her or Libby's just sitting there, if I don't have any underwear on or if I'm getting dressed or if I'm naked or something, I'll just like lay on my back and like spread my pussy lips open and, and they'll look and I'll, and I'll go, look, and, and this fucking bitch will fucking look at it every time. And I'm like, you're disgusting. First off for looking. How do you spread them? Like, do you hold I your just, legs? Well, I'll just spread my legs. Yeah. You just hold your legs. And, you, legs yeah. and you say, look, do you point at it or? Like, no, I'll just say, look. Oh, and, okay. and then she'll literally go <laughs> and look. And I'm like, you're fucking nasty. And then I start looking so much. She goes, stop. She goes, and then she takes her fucking flashlight and gets up in there. She's like, open it. Let me look. Let and me go, look at the hole. Open it. it. And I and I went and opened my lips, and it goes. Let me, let me see if I can do it. It kind of went like. <laughs> I gotta go pee. It reminded me of like an elderly man eating, like. <laughs> and she goes, fucking gross. Yeah, I like that. Song. It's got a mind of its own. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. It's, it's its own. It has its own mouth down there. It's, uh-huh. yeah. Own lips. It's smacking. Let me do it again. Smacking. So tell me to open my lips. Open. <laughs> oh. And it just peeled apart and hey. there was some cream. No, there was no cream. <laughs> That's how you know you got a healthy pussy. If it sounds like that, you got a healthy pussy. It's, it may be even a little tight. If it opens like that, well, that was some my, people just yeah. have them, you know, it's already yeah. open. Right, right. Open 24 But I just hours. like to show my pussy, so there's we'll that. We'll be laying on the couch, and she'll literally just have the pussy out. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll be watching, like, a fucking movie or something. Yeah. I sleep like that, but I, I get, like, I don't know, my skin's too sensitive. I'm even afraid in the hot tub just not wearing under, because, dude, those yeast infections, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm too sensitive. Yeah. I don't want to be dealing with that. What were we talking about before cream? Oh, spitting in the thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so don't fuck with people that, that yeah. mess with your food. End of story. How about that? Mm. What's Luby's, though? It's like a... almost like Is a, it a gas station? No, you know Luby's. It's almost like... Did y'all have Grandy's? Almost Grandy's. Like a, you know what I'm talking about, Maggie? Oh, yeah. It's almost like one of those. It's like okay. a... Just a little fast food. I, what do they have? Like, I don't know. A little bit of everything. Chicken strips. Lube. Mm. Yeah, lube. Cream. Cream. L- lube and cream. I like when Maggie said, or she laughed, she's like, he stirred it. He yeah, stirred, he stirred cause it. Because he said he stirred it, and that <laughs> got me, man. You got to stir it. I in. love the God. stir, and when he, when he said, I had to go in the back and get that bitch, or tartar yeah. or whatever. And he, and he was the trainer at that store. <laughs> he was the, the damn supervisor. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, uh, this is the I the last him. one. Oh, I, I forgot to say the second to last. Uh, okay. Yeah. Last, last question. Here, Here we, we go. go. Hey, Chelsea. Hey, Paige. This is Seth. I just wanted to call to let y'all know how much I adore you guys and tell you how grateful I am for your content because it truly is my go-to when I'm having a bad day. And, yeah, I love it. Uh, side note, Chelsea, I don't know if you remember me at all, but back in probably 2015, 2016, when I was in college, I shamelessly Snapchatted you asking if you could order me a pizza because I was so broke at the time that not only did I not have any food in my apartment, but my electric had actually gotten shut off that day. So my phone had like 7% battery left. It was so stressful. And I wasn't even expecting a response, to be honest. But sure enough, I got a message back asking what my address was. And sure enough, an hour later, a Pizza Hut guy knocked on my door with a two liter of Pepsi, two large pizzas, and one of those giant-ass 
Hershey chocolate cook, uh, cookies. It, to this day, it's one of the best things anyone has ever done for me, and I tell people about it all the time. And if someone ever asks me if I've ever heard of you before, I'm always like, bitch, she bought me pizza. We go way back. You know, I just I appreciate it to this day. Second side note, um, I discovered Paige from the gender reveal video. Um, she farts out that gender or that powder. Um, I never smashed the follow button so hard and so fast when I saw that. And I was like, all right, Chelsea, her, a video like this, this is going to be a good duo. And I was right. Um, so I love both y'all. Anyway, uh, I hope you're having a good new year. Uh, let me know if Maggie or Brett ever need any help because I'm a podcast producer and I would just shit my pants if I could be a part of y'all's little viral team somehow. We need you. Um, you know, shameless self-promoting never hurt anybody, right? Anyway, love y'all. Keep up the great work. And uh, that'll do me. <laughs> that'll do me. Love you, Seth. What a great way to end the pod. Seth, we love you. That was so sweet. That was so sweet and so sweet. Of- you hooked him the fuck up. You got him the cookie too and the drink. Well, you can't just order a pizza. You got to have the you got to have the Pepsi and you got to have the brownie and you got to You always get like the the cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls, the, the garlic. Brownie, all you got to have that. the whole spread. Yeah. And I, I remember that. I remember you, Seth. I love that you did that and that he called and like he's still following you and well us now thank you so much and calling in and and the fact that you did that that's so cool i remember when she did it we were in we were driving down the road i feel like and it was late one night Mm -hmm. and she was like oh i'm gonna order this guy pizza Mm -hmm. i don't remember details really Mm -hmm. or where we were going or Mm -hmm. or whatnot but Aww. Yeah. Yeah, oh, Seth, cool. Seth sounds hot too. Yeah, he does. Mm-hmm. I wonder what Seth looks like. I know. Well, great, he's going to start voicemail. working with us. So yeah, he's Seth. he's going to start working with us soon. Send us a pic, man. <laughs> yeah, I could use some help. You know, yeah. <laughs> he could use some help. <laughs> that is so safe. Seth's number. Safe <laughs> Seth's you know, phone I, number. I looked it up. He's in Pittsburgh. Oh. So so he's just a flight away. We just got to find a place for him to stay out here. Yeah. Pittsburgh. Yeah, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh here. Um, Y'all, uh, Seth, we love you. That's that you made my whole day with this voicemail. Thank you for calling in. Thank you for the support. I love ya. I get so many messages all the time. Like, hey, I'm broke. I need like, I wish we could help out every fucking person. Or just, it's so hard to express ourselves sometimes because it's like, we. I wish I could spend more time with people and like I know. hug them and care for each person individually. It's so I hard. feel the exact same way. I it's feel the exact rough. same way. Um, before we go, I do want to say that uh, Libby and I yesterday, I went and got a massage and she went and got her nails done. It, it, they're side by side. We go to this place called 10 Perfect Nails in Escondido uh-huh. and right beside it is Massage Envy. So I was like, I went and got a massage. She got her nails done. So afterwards, we uh, went back to the car together and she goes, I thought you were in the nail salon. But she goes, I got my nails done and then I went to go pay and I was digging through my purse and someone behind me said, hey, honey's taking too long here. <gasps> And she thought it was me, and she was like, she's getting, and she turned around, and it was just some random person. <laughs> Stop. And she was like, oh, hi, and they're like, oh, I'm a big fan. And like, they were a big fan. They said, hey, honey's Take- taking too long here. I love that so much. I do, much. too. That makes Holy me so happy. Shit. I do, too. That is great. I was like, that's amazing. Made my whole day. Hey, honey. <laughs> taking too long here. <laughs> Libby was probably like, what the I, f- She was. She was like, chill. Like, thought it was me. <sighs> yeah. And another thing, too, just the comments and then the listeners commenting back to our other listeners and giving them support mm-hmm. is amazing. <sighs> what a great group of people we have here. I know. <sighs> you know, the viral squad, the rock fuckers, like, what a cool group of people. Love everybody. Love Dude. everybody. <sighs> Hey, I think our Instagram, the viral podcast, is on a halt. Like, a, um, because oh I, I think our content's a little, Lord. little, little, uh, oh you know, God. doesn't match the oh. guidelines. Because, like, every time I go on there, like, our followers are just almost uh, glitching. Oh, God. So. Wonderful. Every fucking platform we have now. And I don't think it's letting us gain followers. Probably not. Same for, uh, like, Facebook and stuff, too. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Pretty, it's getting pretty bad. Oh, so yeah. So if you don't follow our Instagram, try to go in and follow and, um. Yeah. Yeah, 
the viral podcast. And we'll try to not post such and I And I just want to say, I, just, I do want to say how important it is. If you, and not just us, but us as well, if you want to, if there's a, if there's a content creator that you just absolutely love, the biggest way to show support is to engage, Mm -hmm. um, comment, like share, because they hide our content Mm -hmm. from you guys. Mm -hmm. There's a, gosh, we need to figure it out for next season or next episode. There's like a button you press that allows you to actually like see I guess rated our content. Us. Oh yeah, yeah. I've posted that to my stories before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yes. I, I, we need to do that. We need to post that on the viral podcast the day this comes out. Okay, mm-hmm. let's remember that. Brett, can you please write that down? <laughs> Brett, write that down, honey. Write that Don't down forget. for us. Um, down. but yes, engage, 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 engage. Comment. Co- to me, comments are the, the the biggest. Even if it's just an emoji, you don't got to say you know anything. If you want to see their content, just comment. All that. So, love you. Oh, God, we love you, honeys. Gosh, we love you, honeys. We got a big week coming up, honeys. We got a big week. Oh. Tammy Bang starts filming this week. We're gonna be busy. Um, we're gonna film some OnlyFans. We have a we're lot. We're going to some comedy shows. We're going to, we have a lot coming up. Film. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, yeah, and we have to edit our vlogs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we got some content coming for you guys real soon. We I promise. get messages every day. Hey, when are you gonna start vlogging? And I'm like. I swear soon. I know. I know. Gosh. We got it. We got it. We got this. We 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 got this. We're going to have vlogs up next week. And if you want to call in. Yes. It is 442-777-3331. And always remember, you're doing great. You're looking good. And And fuck fuck what everybody else thinks. Oh, yeah. People wanted Todd. Next, next episode. We'll do Todd next Todd. episode. <laughs> oh.